Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn about flowcharts. The agenda of today's video is what is flowchart, what are the different symbols we are going to use in flowchart and we will write some sample algorithm and flowchart. The problem which I picked is finding the largest of two numbers. We already know that algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve the problem. And an algorithm, so for a particular problem, the problem can be simple or complex. So for simple problem, there can be some 10 number of steps. In case of complex problem, it can, it can have more than 1000 steps also. So while writing algorithm, we always use word. So how we will do it? What has to be done next? So instead of writing these 100 lines of text, we are able to represent the algorithm in some pictorial way, which programmer can understand easily and can convert to coding. That will be very helpful. That is what flowchart. So flowchart is a diagrammatic representation of an algorithm. So whatever we define in algorithm, everything we represent using some symbols, which is very easy to understand by programmers during coding phase. So while writing algorithm, we always have to keep three things in mind. First one is what is the input for my algorithm and what I'm expecting that is called output and what I have to do means what are the actions or what, what are the steps I have to follow, the steps to follow. Now let's see flowchart symbols which are going to use to represent these things. So every algorithm will have some start point and end point. So we are have to, we are going to start at this point and then we have to end at this point. So every algorithm will have a terminator. So that's the reason this start or end symbol is also called as terminator symbol. And how do we represent this symbol? We will use vowel shape or rounded rectangle shape to represent the start or end. So vowel shape is like this or we will use rounded rectangle. So and we will mention start or end. Second one is input or output symbol. Every algorithm either take zero or more inputs and at the same time it will produce at least one output. So let's see what is the symbol is being used for input or output. So because it deals with data, it is also known as data symbol. So the symbol used is parallelogram. And we will write input variables or whatever the output produced by the algorithm. Third symbol is used to represent process. So process is nothing but action. So this used to represent the action which we have to do it as a part of algorithm. Suppose if we want to reach position B from A, what we have to do? We have to walk, right? So that is an action. In similar way, in programming language, whatever the action we have to do, that is going to represent using process symbol. So this is also called action symbol. So rectangle is used to represent the process or action. Fourth one is decision. Again, same example we will take. For example, I want to reach position B. I am at position A. So this is my starting point and this is my end point. So how we will do it? We will, we will walk. After reaching some point, there is no path. Means there is road is closed. Then what we will do? Either we have to go left or we have to go right. Means we have to take some decision. So either left or right. So these cases decision symbol is going to be used. So we are using diamond symbol to represent the decision. Fifth one is flow line. So flow line is used as a connector between these symbols. Arrow is used to represent the flow line. So these are the most frequently used flowchart symbol. So while proceeding further, if there is any need for different flowchart symbol, that particular time we can discuss it. Now let's discuss algorithm and flowchart for finding the largest of two numbers. Let's write algorithm first and then we will convert to flowchart. So what is the algorithm? So it is mentioned that we have to find the largest of two numbers means the input will be two numbers, right? So first step of algorithm is always start. We have to start. And then second one is, so do we have any input or not? Assume that numbers are A, B. So we have to read A. And third step, we have to read B also. Then what we have to do? So usually to find the largest, what is the operator we will use it? Is A greater than B or not, right? This is the operator we are going to use it. Same thing we are going to write here. If 
if a greater than b we found the answer which is a this is not the case means else and obviously b is the answer so we have to print b given two numbers we have to print largest of two numbers means we found it either a or b only largest among two means we have to end our algorithm using stop so now let's see how we will convert into the flow chart so first one what we have written start second one i have to read input value a so what is the symbol we are going to use whenever we are going to read input or we have to print output we are going to use parallelogram and again i have to read value b also from one symbol to another symbol i am connecting using flow line so read b once i have the two numbers what i have to do i have to check whether a greater than b or not means i have to take the decision using this operator if a greater than b so decision whenever there is a whenever there is a decision line obviously there will be more than one outcome so if a greater than means either it is yes or no so in case of s yes, what we have to do in case of no what we have to do so this is for s yes, and this is for no so if it is s yes, what we have done here we have to print a in case of no we have to print b meaning print a and here print b so finally we solve the problem means we are going to end the algorithm this is how we are going to write algorithm and we convert to flow chart just by looking at this diagram programmer can convert to coding so i hope this video is helpful to you thank you for watching stay tuned happy learning